This is an adrenal gland. On the right side of the slide, there is a normal adrenal gland with preserved architecture. And on the left side, there is a tumor of the adrenal medulla called pheochromocytoma. Here we can see the cortex uh, with the fibrous capsule. And beneath the capsule, there is a zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata, and zona reticularis. Let's pay attention to the adrenal medulla because the normal histology of the adrenal medulla is very similar to the typical morphology of pheochromocytoma. So let's zoom in a little bit. It consists of sheets of small to larger cells. The shape of the cells is described as polygonal and the cytoplasm is very voluminous, clear, basophilic or amphophilic. In the cytoplasm there are small neurosecretory granules with epinephrine and norepinephrine. These cells are positive for neuroendocrine immunohistochemical markers, synaptophysin and chromogranin, uh, with the same granular cytoplasmic positivity. The nuclei are round or oval shaped with inconspicuous nucleoli. In between the cellular nests, so we have thin fibrovascular septi with small capillaries. There are a lot of capillaries, so the secreted hormones can be uh, secreted into, into the blood. And let's compare this normal histology with pheochromocytoma. It looks very similar. The cells are arranged in the solid nests, also called balls. Um, or classical cell, cell ball in appearance from the German expression for cellular balls. And uh, these cells have the same voluminous granular cytoplasm positive for the same immunohistochemical neuroendocrine markers, synaptophysin, chromogranin A, or CD56. And the cytoplasm is lighter, or it can be uh, amphophilic or basophilic. And the polygonal shape of these cells are responsible for the typical mosaic pattern. Some pheochromocytomas can consist uh, of solid sheets, or we can see also trabecular structures. Sometimes these cells are spindled or atypical. Um, but normally, <clears throat> a lot of a lot of typical classical pheochromocytoma. Uh, are associated with these cellular nests. Here are thin fibrovascular structures which encircle the cellular nests and there are a lot of capillaries. Uh, apart from neuroendocrine cells so we have also small spindled sustentacular cells and they are not visible in h &E stain. We need to use S100 immunohistochemical marker to actually see them. This is the same slide uh, stain with chromogranin A, neuroendocrine marker, we can see that both the tumor and adrenal medulla are positive. In the higher magnification, we can see cytoplasmic positivity. Uh, and this positivity is stronger in some of these cells and weaker in the other cells. And this is S100 immunohistochemistry with positive sustentacular cells. Uh, this is the picture from web pathology. Uh, pheochromocytoma is a tumor of the adrenal medulla, as we mentioned, and a very similar uh, tumor in other location is called paraganglioma. The classical rule of 10% um, changed a little bit throughout the years. Um, but st it is still quite useful uh, <clears throat> for remembering the basic facts. 10% of the pheochromocytoma are bilateral. Uh, it's probably not a 10%, but slightly higher, but never mind. 10% uh, are outside of the adrenal medulla and called paraganglioma. 10% uh, can metastasize and 10% uh, uh, can be seen in children. Uh, um, there are a higher number of familiar cases, probably closer to 30% now. 
Um, Fiochromo cytoma is associated with episodic secretion of catecholamines, epinephrine and norepinephrine, and that's responsible for the typical uh, clinical features and clinical s symptoms of this tumor, which are paroxysmal attacks of hypertension, palpitations, headaches, and diaphoresis or profuse sweating. In order to diagnose pheochromocytoma, we need to uh, do some um, uh, MRI or CD scan, uh, plus very useful test is um, <clears throat> looking for metanephrine and normetanephrine in the blood, uh, and also for the breakdown products in the urine, uh, <clears throat> like vanyl mandelic acid or homovanilic acid. Uh, the treatment is surgical removal, uh, but we need to use uh, prophylaxis treatment or prophylactic treatment uh, or alpha blocker you know, usually phenoxybenzamine in order to avoid malignant hypertension during the removal of the pheochromocytoma uh, okay thanks for watching